Hey, what up, what up? Hello, hello, hello. It is Danny Cobbin with another vlog. Four months later, here we are. Um, lots of life happening. Lots of life showing up and happening. Noticing that a lot of what worked in 2021 and what didn't work in 2021. And there's a laundry list of things when we actually take the time to look at them. Put in a little jar at the beginning of 2021, some of the things that we were thankful for. So that when we got to 2022, we could open them up and we could just take a look at them and see what what came out of them. A lot of it was me noticing that I was in the same position last year that I am this year, right now. January 16th, I was seeing communicate this with logic. I could just go on the vibe, on the feeling, and not only hope that somebody else would pick it up, but actually know that how it works. When we actually change, it's not it's not heady. It's something that we get on a more primal level. How many times has there been something that you really you get? Like I get how to lose weight, I get how to gain muscle, I get how to take care of kids. But like when it comes down to the nitty gritty, like the terrain is not the territory. Like as I heard it put once before, like when I was at UPS. We would get maps all the time. I would have a map of a specific road out in the middle of the country. I'd have four different maps of it. The map that came from the city, I would have a hand-drawn map, and then I would have hand-drawn a map so that I know exactly what house is on the street and where it is. But if I gave that map to someone else, it doesn't do them very much good because they don't have any context as to where it is. Noticing where I was this time last year actually gave me a lot of context for where I can move forward this year. And that's what I really want to talk to y'all about today on this vlog is the change, the shift from the old normal to a new normal. Going from what I thought was important, what I thought was going to be helpful for everybody and noticing that, yes, that's helpful, but there's, there's another depth to wherever it is that you want to go and then also clarifying that right clarifying where i want to go what i want to do and through the process of clarifying where i want to go and what i want to do i've actually started to notice some real clarity coming around parenting around life so now i have a podcast out dc 360 about the fact that i've noticed divine chaos in life What's happening in life itself is not positive or negative. It just is. And then what I think about the positive or negative adds a certain level or texture to the conversation. And that level, the extra layer when I forget that it's there causes this amazing amount of friction. This crazy amount of friction. And I, I notice it with my kids, but then I'm starting to see it more and more in other places. And it, it's becoming apparent to me, whereas sometimes, you know, these things are real. And so, okay, 2021, you know, we all thought COVID was going to be over and done with. 2022, it seems like countries are going back into lockdown, right? They're going back into lockdown. So 2022 is 2020 over again is what it kind of seems like it feels like for me. And that's just a restart, a chance to redo it. Like we don't get a lot of chances in life to redo a year. But I think everybody's willing to give each other grace around it this year. Because divine chaos. COVID's running rampant. Like, I've had family members die because of it. Like, things are happening. But those things are not affecting what's happening to me on a day to day basis, what's happening in the world on a day to day basis. And so that was a really interesting, like, time because things shifted. Because I had to learn that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for things. I didn't think that was okay. For a long time, I didn't. I just did not think it was okay to ask for help. 
And we see where that gets you, right? Gets you to a certain level of life, I guess. But we built these societies based on the fact that we can come together as human beings and work together. It's the logic, right? Like we're working together logically. We can remove the emotion, but the emotions are still there. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm working with the emotions more. It seems real to me that what I have been missing is the emotions. I got, I got droves of logic, right? But nobody gets that. I mean, everybody gets how to do it. We already know how to do it, but we don't have that experientially inside of us. And because we don't have that experientially inside of us, we don't make those changes. It just doesn't occur to us to do, to make those kind of changes, those kind of shifts. But the moment we start making those changes and those shifts, like life starts looking a little bit differently. What's it did for me?